A couple of years ago, I was spending time doing long distance running. I would try throughout the week to get in runs as an exercise, you know, five, seven, 10, 12 mile runs. And over the course of a few weeks, as I started to build up the stamina, I noticed something fascinating. In the beginning, I, it, was, it was great. You come out of the house, the music starts playing, and off you go. The end was great, right? You feel the sense of accomplishment. You can almost like taste it when you're done. But I was having a very hard time in the middle. Somewhere around mile four, or if there were longer miles, mile seven, I just couldn't get through it. I was like looking to take breaks all the time. I was slowing down. I couldn't find the right song. I wish I just couldn't get through that middle area. So I called a friend of mine who I knew was uh, a long distance runner. And I said, well, what advice do you have for me? And he said, well, you got to manage the middle. I said, what do you mean? He goes, of course, it's fun in the beginning. You just got started. You're not even tired yet. And of course, it's exciting at the end. You can see the finish line. He goes, but that's not where the race is. The race takes place in the middle. You got to learn how to manage the middle of a race. I said, so how do you manage the middle? He says, well, you got to pick spots. You got to, as you're running, you got to look as far as your eye can see to a spot, a house, a tree, a train station, a store, something. And you got to pick it as your finish line. And you got to put your mind into gear that that's, so to speak, an accomplishment to hit that spot you just picked and run to the spot. And when you get to that spot, celebrate the spot. Celebrate that you got there. And what will happen is your brain will start to focus not on one finish line, but on multiple finish lines. And in the beginning, it may feel a little off, but you'll get into it and it'll start to get exciting because you'll feel accomplished. And that'll make you feel excited to try again. So you'll hit a spot, you'll feel accomplished, and then you'll look and see the next spot. And then the next spot, and the next spot. And so the middle of your run is not just one all, I can't wait for this to be done until I get to the finish line. The middle of your run really is lots of small little finish lines that get you excited when you hit it, and it'll only get you motivated to keep on going because it's fun to finish something. In many ways, that's what we're going through right now. This is a marathon, this isn't a race. A snowstorm is a race. This is a marathon. And last week, at least for us here, and I'm sure for many of you, some of you even earlier, it was the beginning of the race and it was just drama. And every day, new stuff and sh schools shutting and these shuttings and schools shutting and everything shutting down. And, and it, it, it was a lot, but it, you were caught up in it. And now everywhere you turn, there's some other expert that tells you like, it's these many days out and these many days out. You can't even see the finish line at this point. Hopefully they'll come immediately. But as of this right now, it's just, you can't see it. And so where we are right now is in the middle of the race and it can get exhausting. So how do we get through it? We gotta pick spots. We gotta pick spots in our days as many accomplishments and work to be productive, to be resilient, to be happy, to be grateful until that spot. Don't think about when this whole thing is over. Find spots in your day and celebrate them. Celebrate, if it's dinner, get to dinner. Everybody working, going on this and doing online classes and staying this and working hard and being productive. Try to get everybody together to do the best they can until dinner. And that's just till dinner, don't think past dinner. Dinner, celebrate dinner. If it's a couple of days out, do a couple of days out. If it's the lunch with everybody, if it's breakfast, find posts throughout your day for everybody to celebrate and get to that post. Don't worry about life past the post. Don't worry about life past the post, that spot. And what you do during that period of time is set ambitious goals, happiness goals, gratitude goals, productive goals, recognize that we may be here for a little bit of time and that finish line seems far, but if we celebrate the small little wins along the way, it'll go once, twice before you know it, we'll be more productive, we'll be happier, we'll be more grateful, we'll be more giving. And then with God's help, those little things will make us better people till we'll all reach that finish line together.